Hey everybody, I wanted to share with you um, a solution for a small but annoying problem I have with my overpowered Hangar 9 XT60 with its RCGF 26cc engine on it and a three blade, I think it's a 14 inch prop. This thing hums, it screams, it's way overpowered. And uh, even at idle, it produces quite a bit of thrust. So I needed a way to be able to drop that thrust down to uh, make it a little bit easier to get the plane down on the ground um, without it quitting. Uh, and so I wanted two things, basically. I needed a reliable flight idle, and I needed a landing idle. So I had approached my friend Gary Hoffman, who is also a Horizon Hobby brand rep, uh, and a good friend, an excellent pilot who uh, flies an IX-20. And he had a switch set uh, to do this uh, with a throttle-to-throttle -throttle mix that I couldn't get to work, or, or maybe it worked, I just couldn't see the differences. Um, and I went on to the IX-12 Facebook user group and posed the question, and a couple of different solutions came up. And the one that I liked the best and seemed easiest and most elegant was setting up throttle curves. And, and this is how I went about doing that. So the idea here is I need two different idles. I need a flight idle, and I need a landing idle. And the way we did that is we went into model adjust and set up throttle curves. This is the second down on the right here. Now, the student amongst you will notice uh, down here that uh, there's a little bit more orange in the corner. Um, the first thing you have to do, and that's the whole goal here, is to get that extra little percentage there. And here's what we did. Set it to switch B. Switch B is the uh, flight mode switch traditionally for Approach helis. Flight idle set. Um, and it's what I have on my DX8 uh, before I switched over to my X12. And that's where my muscle memory is for flight mode, so I wanted to kind of keep it in the same area. So I chose switch B. Um, it's a three position switch that gave me an extra option. Um, the very first thing we did then is uh, set up the flight idle. Now, 6% um, seemed to be a very good position with the engine running that gave me a very low um, thrust, low RPMs, but a very reliable idle. So I can drop back to idle and flight, have absolutely uh, no problems with the engine, and get the plane to slow down a bit. So that's my flight idle. The next position, and watch the orange curve, Approach idle so I dropped down there. It went from six to three percent here in the first um, uh, position, and that's on the second setting on this three uh, position switch. That's fifty percent of the original. This allowed me to, on approach, drop the engine back, make sure that it was going to idle carefully, um, and uh, get it to spin down a little bit before I kicked into landing as I crossed the threshold. Landing idle set. So you notice the orange is now all back to normal, perfectly flat throttle curve, and then it dropped down to 0%. This is where you set the endpoints on the engine when you're setting up your true idle. This is the true idle right here. And this is where the engine is running, it's going really slow, Every now and then we'll four cycle, every now and then we'll bog down a little bit, um, but it's running, um, and if it runs there for more than a few minutes, it's probably gonna quit, which is why I didn't wanna have that in flight. It allows me to slow the plane down dramatically as I cross the threshold with this overpowered aircraft and get it down on the ground. So, I have three positions on this switch that allow me to have three different idles. A flight idle set. Flight idle setting, which is 6% above the, the minimum, Approach idle set. Approach idle set, which is 50% of the 6%. Landing idle set. And landing idle set, which is the true idle, the true endpoint setting uh, where the engine is running well, um, is bogging down a little bit, and if it goes on for a little bit more, probably would bog down. Uh, this works really good. It's a nice, elegant solution to this problem. You notice that I had different voice prompts for the flight mode switch settings uh, that we just described. Uh, the way that I set that up is I went into model setup, down here flight mode setup, and it takes you to the flight mode uh, setup screen. Uh, you'll notice you'll have to set it to switch B, it'll initially be I think inhibit. Um, and then you can set it down here to the language that you want it to say. In this case, I chose flight idle set. You simply tap the area next to it, type in whatever it is you want it to say, and, and that's what the voice is going to say. Um, I have a uh, excuse me, an English lady's voice on mine, so you'll hear her say, Approach idle set. And you see the language right there? Landing idle set. A flight idle set. And it's that simple uh, to get the uh, switch settings uh, to voice out whatever it is that you want it to say. So 
this was a nice little elegant um, solution to my need for a slower landing idle than a reliable flight idle. Um, I hope you found this useful, and I appreciate everybody's help on the IX12 Facebook users group.